there is a wealth of history here in the city of Aberdeen. Yeah, and a great deal of that history is cataloged at a place called the Dakota Prairie Museum. We stopped by and we learned a story about how this city influenced the modern era of communications. Take a look. Aberdeen lies along South Dakota State Highway 12, and it is the route of that highway that allowed Aberdeen to come into being in the first place. That was the um, route of the railroad in the early days as they moved into what was then Dakota Territory. Sue Gates is the director of Aberdeen's Dakota Prairie Museum and says Aberdeen was a true railroad town, but it also wasn't what you might think of as being a typical railroad town. It was a town that um, was never a Wild West town. The people that settled here were very educated. They came from New York and the East Coast were professionals. The history of Aberdeen is fascinating for many reasons, especially the story of a man named J.L.W. Zitlow. Aberdeen was founded in 1881. Not too long after, Zitlow, a man who was fascinated by very early telephone technology, came to Aberdeen and started working. I think there were 10 miles of phone line and maybe 60 or 70 phones. Just eight short years later, Zitlow and his telephone system made history. By 1905, Aberdeen had dial telephone service. Rotary dial phones don't really exist today, but in the early 20th century, it was revolutionary. And the researchers at the Dakota Prairie Museum believe Aberdeen had the first dial telephone system in the entire United States. So we'll continue to say that until there's some documented proof that we aren't. If you're interested in checking it out, and you should stop by, it's fascinating. The Dakota Prairie Museum is actually closed on Mondays, but it's open Tuesdays through Fridays from 9 to 5, and on Saturdays and Sundays from 1 until 4.